Are you Brother. going to lay in any special stocks for this pop festival? Brother George? Oh, I've laid quite a lot of stocks somewhere. Really? I think there will be. Plenty of fruit. What do you want? Yogurt. They don't want black bull in. Lancashire cheese is going very well. Some come with full equipment, camp equipment, and they're, they're taking beans, soup, even potatoes and stewed steaks to make a meal. Others seem to come in for a Mars bar and uh, an apple for it. dessert. <laughs> How about yogurt? Did you sell any yogurt before this? No. None at all? I've, I've, I've heard of yogurt, but I've never sold it. Thank you, Clive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you've never even seen it? Oh, well, obviously I haven't seen it, but that, uh, I, I wouldn't give it two glances. What do you think of the kids? Do you want the new ones or the old ones? Well, of literally, one. of the thousands of people that have been in this shop, I haven't Excuse found one Thank you. that's been arrogant or insolent in any way, shape or form. They've all appreciated the service and they've gone out out of delight. Well, that's your experience. Now, when the pop festival was first broached, when the idea first came up, what did you think of it? Were you for it or against it? What did I think? Well, as a businessman, I, I would rather not comment. I would not uh, comment on behalf of the people of Bickershire. Are you hoping to get here? Personally, I think I think we're talking in terms of about seventy-five thousand, but we've laid on facilities for a hundred thousand. Well, at what point do you start breaking even financially? I'll tell you that <laughs> after the festival. Well, where does the money come from? In fact, who's backing you? Uh, I am not actually being backed. I'm working for the people who are putting the money in, uh, and they are a group of northern businessmen, and they're very nice. And I like them, and so does my mum. And they're faceless and anonymous. Who are they? Well, they're still faceless and anonymous. You see, all sorts of rumours are going around. Like great, One of them great. has been sent to prison and all kinds of things like oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Tell me more. What well, other rumours? Tell me the location geographically. They're all northerners, are they? You know, the point is that if they wanted to be public, then I would tell you, but they don't. I don't really see the significance of finding out who they are. What you should be reporting on, and which I hope you are, is the festival, not who's doing it. Okay, in terms of the festival then, mm. are you going to be ready on time? It looks as though you're not. Well, what, what would convince you that we were? If the fences were up, the stage was up, everything was ready. What fences are not up? Around here, the fences have just been taken down over there. There are gates that are not up. Fences are up, the gates aren't up. We're allowing people to come in and sleep in here in advance that the accusation that this isn't ready, if you don't know anything at all about festivals, uh, then you might make that statement. If you know anything about festivals, then you'd say we're about up to date. It's just getting too chaotic. I've had enough. What? Because I can't cope. Explain. I'm getting more pinched than I'm selling. Can we put this? I've cleared the front of my shop. As you know, it was they had helped themselves. And they're coming in droves, they're coming in crowds. And they have these capes on or what have you. And before you know what happened, they've gone, and so I was probably half a dozen cans of cola, stuff like that. I've cleared the front of the office the, the shop. Are you thinking of staying closed? Uh, well, it was my intention to try and give, give a good service, but I find that, uh, 
you know, they're just taking advantage, they're taking the mickey. You mean they're taking up to, advantage? Up to yesterday, lovely. Up to yesterday, lovely. But yesterday, the real boys started to come in. Are they taking your profit? Well, everything they take, profit, isn't it? Are they taking your lot? I, can't, I, can't, I know it's going. And I just can't do anything about it. But you, you get as many as 30 people in. You know it's only small. Well, you get 30 people and try and watch. I got some views of Wigan. I thought, I'll try and be helpful. These kids are coming in for views. I've no one, I, I can't put anybody around there to sell them. They're asking for the box, let them have. They choose a card, they write it, and they've got it. And you know my position, I'm post office, nipping around, giving advice, people coming in, different lingos, trying to explain, trying to be helpful, but... Well,